Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. Hi Sekh, how are you? Uh, sir, do you have any idea upon Jade Global Company? Can you suggest for my upcoming placement in future? One thing I dislike is I'm good at Python and JavaScript, but still companies judge upon C language. So uh, I don't know what is Jade Global Company. See, just understand that in my career, I worked with three or four companies. That's it. So these four companies I know really well. Okay, that is my own company which I built and in which I worked for 11 years. Uh, I worked in an antivirus company. I know that company which is no longer there because it closed down after I had, uh, I had moved out of it. Uh, not because I moved out of it. But it closed down some so whatever problems happened. I don't even know what happened, but it closed down. So it's no longer there. Okay. Then I work with a company called Cybage, which is an offshore product development company. So I know a, a good amount uh, about Cybage because I was there for two years. And then I worked for a company called Aptify, which is an MNC company, which is again, it is sold out. So uh, Aptify is no longer Aptify. It's called Community Brands. Uh, it's still in Pune, uh, there, there is a uh, branch of Aptify or community brands in Pune, which has 200, 300 uh, engineers. I know it very well, okay? But if you ask me about any other company, I'm not worked at those companies and I cannot so say much about those companies, except for what is globally true, okay? Or except for, what from my experience I understand when I, I read about those companies and I say, okay, yeah, this is like what was there in my company is similar. This process is similar. These things are similar. Uh, what this company is doing is similar. Okay. So as far as your uh, uh, suggesting upcoming placement in future, it's very difficult to suggest which company you should join. Okay you'll have to do your own research and you'll have to come up with that. But I'm going to answer you on the C language. Okay. Remember that when companies are asking you about C language, the reason is they want to know the foundation. Okay. C and C++ is the foundation of programming. Almost everybody who's gone through BE, BTEC, or BSc or BCA, most of people are going to learn C and C++. Okay. And all concepts are explained using C and C++. How to write a function, how to create an if loop, how to uh, create a conditional loop, how to uh, call a particular pointer. All these concepts are concepts of C and C++, which are used in all different programming languages in different ways. Okay. And that is why these programming languages are important. Instead of asking everybody for different programming languages, which will make the hiring process very difficult. Every company has a standard process and which is good, right? You just need to, uh, before your interviews, you just need to read a basic book on C and C++ to make sure you refresh all the concept so that you can give all the answers that they are looking for. Okay. So you should, you should prepare like that. You may be good at Python. You may be good at JavaScript, but as a fresher, the companies don't care what Python, you know, what JavaScript, you know, the companies are looking for engineers who they are going to mold using their own training program on their systems, on their programming uh, platforms, on whatever they want to do. So they want to know what, what is the foundation of your program. They want to know how good you are in the foundation. Because if you are strong in foundation, then the company is uh, sure that you can easily learn Python or JavaScript or 
whatever programming language they are using within their company okay so uh, instead of you know i always say see if if you want to go out and play cricket you're going to to learn how to play cricket and you're going to play by the rules of cricket just because you know how to play football you're not going to go on a cricket ground okay and try to play football with the cricket right it's not going to work so whatever system the company is using the system, companies are using a system for interviewing and it is so easy everybody is using the same system of hiring freshers so it is good for you if you really uh, refresh your knowledge on c c++ data structures and algorithm and uh, object oriented programming then it will become so easy to give interviews within two or three interviews you will get a job in the company of your choice so isn't that really good okay so why do you want to resist i'm i'm saying that become like water mix with everything so that you can go anywhere and everywhere okay it, when you become like water you create a flow you will you'll be able to go anywhere nothing can stop you okay you will reach the best uh, destination no, no nobody can stop water right okay it can pass from small places it can go from one place to another place unless you build a big dam okay so you become like water create your own flow so that you flow in your career with with much ease okay if you keep resisting things uh, after sometimes you'll get frustrated with whatever it is okay so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live